let me start off this video by saying yes, the biggest Vancouver Canucks related story going on at the moment is not being covered in this video. Full disclosure. I record all the videos that I make and upload a day before they are uploaded. This video is being recorded on May 5th, and on May 5th, we are having so many pieces of news, radio hits from JD Burke, Elliot Friedman, etc., talking about this big Vancouver Canucks story, and I'm going to wait until May 6th to actually make a video about it, to let all the thoughts and ideas nestle in and try to take a look at the angle that I want to explore. So the video talking about the biggest Canucks story at the moment, Judd Brackett potentially leaving and the draft picks, etc., that's going to come up tomorrow on May 7th. For now, May 6th is going to be this video here on Nils Hoaglander, which is being recorded on May 5th. With that out of the way though, let's talk today about Niels Hoaglander and if he is NHL ready. This is a topic that I don't know if I'm taking it more seriously than other people are, but based off of the rhetoric that I've heard from Vancouver Canucks fans, I think there is a very real and legitimate party that believes that Niels Hoaglander is very NHL ready and is probably a little bit better than I would like to say that he is. Now, Niels Hoaglander, before we get into that, he is a player that the Vancouver Canucks drafted in the 2019 NHL entry draft, 40th overall in the second round. That's crazy. He's a guy that a lot of people pegged as a first-round talent. He's a guy that Jim Benning himself said that they had at the end of the first round all the way back one year ago. He's a guy that many Vancouver Canucks fans thought was an immediate steal. And because he was a guy playing in the SHL in his draft year, there was an argument a year ago that people were saying, hey, he could potentially be NHL ready. Which is why we talked about it a year ago. In the summer, in the offseason, we asked the question, hey, is Niels Hoaglander NHL ready? I concluded, no, he is not ready. He will not make the team. Send him over to Sweden. Let him dominate the SHL. And we'll see from there, right? Well, recently, Niels Hoaglander signed his NHL contract, meaning that he is now officially in the Vancouver Canucks system. He has the ability to play for the Vancouver Canucks next season. However, if he is not good enough to play for the Vancouver Canucks, he says himself he's going back to Sweden. In fact, it says that he's going to go back to Sweden for one more year. It's actually kind of funny because people were potentially talking about Hoaglander starting in Utica, but according to the IIHF transfer agreement, he actually can't do that unless his Swedish team, Rogla BK, allows him to go there. And if Rogla is in a position where one of their nice young players in Niels Hoaglander is being rejected from his NHL club, they have the ability to just say, no, we're keeping him here with us. We're not sending him to Utica. He can play here. And that's kind of what Hoaglander himself is speaking towards as well. If it's not NHL, it's SHL once more, and that's kind of where we're going to go from there. But why are we talking about whether or not he's going to make the NHL at all? Why is this a topic amongst Vancouver Canucks fans? Well, it's because Niels Hoaglander is a guy who... And believe me, this is kind of why I say I'm a little bit iffy on this topic. Hoaglander is a guy to me who I've been seeing many people on my Twitter feed kind of label as a potential Calder candidate for next year. Now, this is not something that I am pulling out of thin air. If you search the words Hoaglander Calder into Twitter and you search by latest, you can see a lot of people talking about Nils Hoaglander as if he is going to be next in line. Next in line to the Bessers, the Pedersons, the Hughes in the Vancouver Canucks Calder track record, I guess. And this is kind of where I come in and I say, yo, hold your horses there. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I love Niels Hoaglander as much as the next guy. I think Niels Hoaglander has 50 to 60 point NHL potential. But this guy is not a Calder candidate next year. No way. Nah, -uh. No way, Jose. To be a Calder candidate, you need to be... A very, very important player on your team. A very important player, if not one of the top players on your team. 
if we take a look at Vancouver Canucks players who were Calder considerable players in the past few years, we take a look at Brock Besser in 2018. He was hands down the best player, if not one of the best players on the Canucks that season. We take a look at Elias Pettersson in 2019. He was one of, if not the absolute best Canucks on the team. Then we look at Quinn Hughes this season and say, yeah, along with Miller, Markstrom, and Petey, Quinn Hughes is arguably the MVP of this Canucks squad in 2019-20. And these guys were all Calder caliber players, along with the players that they were nominated alongside of. Jordan Binnington, one of the best players on the Blues that season. Rasmus Dahlin, a really good player. Victor Olofsson and Kale McCarr, really solid NHL players. Even going back to the Brock Besser year, Barzal was over a point per game. To me, Niels Hoaglander, if he even makes the NHL next season, is not going to be that. Because he's a guy who recently wrapped up his second SHL year, getting 16 points in 41 games. The year before that, he had 14 points in 50 games. Sure, it's great that he's playing in the SHL, but for players to come into the NHL and be of that same caliber as a Barzal, a Clayton Keller, a Besser, a Pedersen, a Binnington, a Dahlin, a Makar, a Hughes, an Olofsson, a Kubalik, you can kind of see it coming in some respect. None of these guys break onto the NHL scene and surprise people with how good they are in such an incredibly contrasted way to how good they were the previous year. Pedersen, before he came over to the NHL and was the Calder winner, was the best player in Sweden, hands down. Brock Besser, two years before he became a Vancouver Canuck, was a national champion and one of, if not the best freshman in the entire NCAA, alongside of Kyle Connor. Before making the NHL, Quinn Hughes was a point-per-game defender. Kale McCarr was the Hobie Baker winner. And... These are the kinds of players that dominate in the NHL. It's the ones that are so good before stepping into the big leagues. And Hoaglander, to me, is just not that. If Hoaglander had an Elias Pettersson-like draft plus one year where he was the best player in Sweden, then I could totally see Hoaglander becoming a Calder candidate for next year too. But that is not what he did. He was a depth player for the Royal Club BK. And he was a player who, maybe he probably is a bit better than a depth player, but regardless, that's how they decided to play him, and that, to me, kind of tells a little bit of a story as to how good he actually is at the moment. He said it himself, if he's not good enough to make the NHL, he's going back to Sweden. Now, whether or not he is going to be an NHL player is a completely different story. Jim Benning says that he could be... He could be a top 9 player in the NHL next season, and eventually he could be a top 6 player for us. But there are steps that need to go through, and training camps, and qualifications, and exercises that we need to exhibit before we can distribute the lineup properly. Before we can say that Hoaglander is an NHL player, before we can say that he's even in the top 9. To me, a player like Hoaglander who was used in the SHL as a top 9, middle 6 player who got a very solid and not undisputable 16 points in 41 games. That's certainly not bad, but does that say to me he is Calder worthy next year? No. Does it say to me that he is NHL ready next year? Maybe, but I wouldn't be surprised if the guy has to go back to Sweden. At the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if he's stuck in the NHL in a middle 6 top 9 role either. Such is life for prospects that you take in the second round and who do have pro experience. Hoaglander, to me, is going to be a great NHL player one day. But for people to start implying that he could have the immediate success like an Elias Pettersson did, that to me is quite baloney. And it kind of puts a dent in the argument that I think we should be having. And that's whether or not Hoaglander is an NHL player right now, and whether or not he is going to stick around with this team, if, let's just say, the Canucks don't re-sign to Foley, if they're not able to re-sign a Goddett or a Vertanen, is a Niels Hoaglander a guy who can come in and fill in that top 9 spot in the lineup that we are missing? I say maybe, but not with 100% certainty. So, 
Comment down below what you think about Niels Hoaglander, the Calder, making the NHL next season. What's your take? If you disagree with what I said here, feel free to comment down below and correct me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Social.Trost99. And bye.